Chuck, we're back. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, do you do you like these explainer videos, or is it a chore for you? No, I'm. Uh, you know what I like is because I know I, you're on payroll and everything. You know, yeah, so but no, <laughs> so I, you show up because we ask you to. <laughs> I'm tell you the truth. I mean, you, we could sit here and watch paint dry. If I'm getting paid, I love it. No, uh, no. The truth is, what I like is when I think like that they're gonna suck. And then there's something really I never thought about before. Well, that's so kind if of that's happening, if I know, but if it's happening to me, then I'm like, it's got to be happening to other people. Like, okay. I'm like, this is such a banal subject. How could there be anything truly interesting in this? But then when you pull something out of it that's like a little plot twist or something, then I'm like, yo, that was that was really cool. Oh, okay. Like, so I like this as a plot twist. I like that yeah, analogy. Okay. So here we go. Twists. Today, I'm going to talk about the Greek alphabet. Oh, uh, well, then you messed it all up again. <laughs> yes. after, after I give you a glowing <laughs> accolades, you turn around and you hit me with the Greek alphabet, which, right. number one, I don't know. That's number one. All right. No, okay. But uh, I know it. So we're good here. All right. Okay. And number two, it's an alphabet. So, a, all right, that's so that's all you know about it. You don't know it, and you know it's an alphabet. We're good. And how you gonna make that exciting is my point. Like, we're gonna yeah. start there. Okay, so unless a we're couple, pledging a fraternity, a couple of things I want to point out. Okay, the alphabet we use is is called the Roman alphabet. A B C D E F G. Okay, right. um, what's interesting about the Greek alphabet mm -hmm. is that every one of its letters are commonly spelled. Okay. So okay. its first letter in the Greek alphabet is alpha. alpha. Spell alpha. Right. A A L P H A. Okay. First letter of the Roman alphabet is A. Spell A. A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me give you okay. Spell H. Uh H. 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 See, there's know. no you we we can't we don't even know how to wrap our head around the question of right. what it is to spell our letters. H. Whereas the Greek alphabet are fully spellable from beginning to end. Alpha, beta, right. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you how to spell H. It's A-I-T-C-H. H, yes, that, that does spell H. There's only, only one way that can come off your tongue, and that's right. H. H. That's the official way to spell H, A-I-T-C-H. Now, we do some spelling of our alphabet. When you buy a T-shirt, you can just use the letter T-shirt, or else you can write it how. T E E. That is how you spell the letter T. Right. right. You know, people aren't just being cute. That's how you spell the letter. Right. And like Z is Z E E. Z E E. Right. Okay. So, but you hardly ever see that. It's, so that's uh, an interesting. How do you spell M? <laughs> e M, actually. M. Oh, so oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> e M. That makes sense. M. Okay. Right. Uh, and so, so you. So it's an interesting feature of the alphabet, all right? I just want to put that out there. Right. Second, um, the the first letter we all know is what? Alpha. And the last letter? Omega. Omega, alpha to omega. And so this was uh, uplifted into Christianity. Correct. You know, uh, uh, alpha to omega. You see it on some religious shrines. Right, because it's it's a wonderful <clears throat> thing. I am the beginning and the end. The I alpha am the beginning, and the beginning the and the end. Exactly, and of course, the the New Testament, the Christian Bible, is written in in um, in Greek. Greek. So that's it's not a stretch to then use the Alpha and the Omega in that way. Okay. Correct. All right. So let's go through the alphabet in sequence. Okay. Alpha, uh, first letter. Next alpha. letter is beta. beta. And we've we've heard this word before. Beta testing of software. Exactly. Right? You've heard that. I don't know that people are thinking Greek letter in the alphabet, but uh, beta testing is the testing where it's not ready for prime time yet. It could still have bugs. You get experts to play with it. They can find the errors, you fix it, and then you release it. Okay? So you can be alpha tester, beta tester, and by the time you're done, it's out there and you're no longer saying alpha or beta. Okay. Um, third Greek letter is? I don't know. I'm going to go with... Gamma, lambda. Gamma, very nice. Know. Gamma, alpha, okay. beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, and gamma were okay. the words given to high energy particles in the early days of particle physics before we knew what the things were that were carrying these energies. Okay. So there's a particle which happened to be the nucleus of a helium atom, 
but it had an energetics that we were trying to measure and we could always repeat it. And the nucleus of the helium is called the alpha particle. Wow. That's a little weird, right? The nucleus right. of a helium atom, the alpha right. particle. Okay, the electron is right. called the beta particle. And actual gamma ray radiations are called gamma rays. So alpha, beta, gamma, these were three highly energetic things that started popping out of nuclei as we started splitting atoms and Thanks. analyzing radioactivity. This is 100, 130, 120, 30 years ago. So in physics, alpha, beta, gamma are, are, are energy levels in particle physics. Right. Two of them correspond with particles. The gamma rays corresponds with just energy. And of course, the Hulk knows all about gamma rays. Yes, exactly. And <clears throat> but don't ask him about it when he's angry. <laughs> you, you won't like him when he's angry. You won't like him when he's angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw this meme called the the Credible Hulk. Have you ever seen that? No. The Credible However, Hulk. I love he says, it. Um, I, I I need evidence. Uh, I need. <laughs> Oh, that's I funny. need peer-reviewed studies. <laughs> I it's called the Credible Hulk. The Credible Hulk. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. I need this evidence. It's, that's it's really funny. good. I need evidence. All right. So okay. let's keep going. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma. Next, delta. Okay. Right. The capital delta is a triangle, just a right. simple triangle, and we call things that look like those triangles deltas, like the river delta at the bottom right. of the Mississippi. It sprays out from the mouth of the Mississippi and opens up into a fan shape, and that's called a delta. A delta, right. All right, and delta is also in math, the, the difference between two quantities change, uh, is, yeah. is called a delta, the change in, that's change. exactly right. right. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma, depth, uh, delta. Uh, epsilon, you don't see much of that. Next one is um, zeta and eta. You don't wow. see much of that either. Nope. either. Uh, next one is theta. Theta is a, a, is a circle with circle a line with through the line middle, through. And, and in math you use that to represent the angle. Uh, you see that a lot in ge geometry. So Chuck, after theta, we have iota. Iota. And, and, and iota is like a tiny little I. You write it and you might miss it if you're not looking careful enough. Right. And how do we use iota? It's actually not an one, English word. I will not give in, not one iota. And you're saying not even I the, the tiniest letter. I don't care one letter. iota about iota. what you I, right. So it's, we, it's, we, it's up taken, up, up took into our English language. The right. iota. I love it. Okay. After that, you have the word kappa. Okay. Kappa. Now, kappa is a, a common letter that shows up in fraternities and sororities. Mm -hmm. and kappa alpha psi. Kappa, for example. And uh, I like kappa because it gives funny meaning to say, hey, what <laughs> So, what fraternity do you belong to? They say, oh, it's called I tap a keg. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I so, tap a keg. I yeah, I tap a keg. Oh, which one is that? Oh, it's over there with the kegs out front. <laughs> so it's a it's a way to just have fun with the uh, the, the Greek sounding letters of fraternities and sororities. After that, we get to lambda. lambda. I always like the B and the D consecutive. Lambda. Lambda. Uh, lam lambda is the symbol we use in math and in physics to refer to wavelength of light. And That's the an length upside of the, down Y. Uh, yeah, I hadn't thought about it that way. Thank you. It's an upside down Y. If you flip it over, it'd be a regular Y. So lambda, and it's the, the phonetics of the lambda with length, wavelength. And that's why that letter was chosen to refer to the wavelength of light. It's just the curve line and you go from crest to crest. Okay. And you measure that, that's the wavelength, all right? And all light has a wavelength associated with it. Different colors have different wavelengths, cool. okay? Some are longer, some are shorter. So that's a lambda. And then we get mu, Mu, Xi. Sometimes I say Xi. Mu, and we don't use those much at all. So and we'll go right on past that. not Xi? Okay. Yeah, I, 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 it depends on, I think, I've heard Greek people pronounce many of these Greek letters differently from how I learned it in my math class. Gotcha. And I want to defer to them, but I'm not really, because Pi, they'll call it P. No, I'm not calling it P. I'm calling not, it Pi, all right? Yeah, we're going to have to draw the long, we're going to have to draw the line at P. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we haven't gotten a pie yet. That's coming up. Okay. Right. So next one is Omicron. Omicron. Omicron now, Perseus 5. Ooh, give me some Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> oh, was that Star Trek? Yeah, yeah I think it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Omicron, what I like about that is if you separate them, you have an O, and what's the word that follows it? Ikron? I don't know. M micron. Micron. Oh, yes. Micron. Okay. So in a way... 
That's little O. Sweet. Just think. Just think about this. Little O. Little just, o? Okay. Let's just start. I'll... Just just stay with me on that. Okay. No. I'm, and I'm, I'm... micron. That's where we get the prefix micro. Okay. Absolutely. Microscope. You use it to see little things. So this that's is this. So weird. The Greek is, alphabet. The Greek is alphabet so is totally. It's all in. Tied the Greek into alphabet, this. It's stuff. all in. Okay. So we'll get back to O micron in a bit. Next up letter, it's alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, mu, nu, psi, omicron, pi is next. Pa, pa for oh, we, perimeter. That's the phonetics. And the perimeter of a circle, you can get that invoking the constant pi. Right. And March 14th is pi day uh, all over uh, the world. If you keep your calendar as the month preceding the day, 3.14 3. 3. 3. Right. is the first right. three digits of pi. And that gets you pretty far, even though there are many, many more digits. So uh, pi is the, if you take the circumference, the perimeter of a p perimeter of a circle, divide by its diameter, right? Then you've got the number pi, and and that's no matter the size of the no circle. No matter the size of the circle. Yeah, because the as one gets bigger, the other gets bigger. You divide out, pi shows up. It's Very amazing. important. A constant, not only in math, but in the entire universe. Right. Okay, so what's next? Uh, I get rho, sigma, tau, epsilon, phi. Okay, there it is. Uh, next is uh, chi, or sometimes chai, C-H-I. Mm -hmm. um, that's a wonderful T. <laughs> yeah, the Greeks were making tea before then. No, I think they were drinking exactly. something else, I think. Uh, <laughs> the tea was from the Far East, I bet. No chai anyway, lattes? It's the C-H-I. <laughs> and then you have... Psi, P-S-I, right. Psi, and like new age people sometimes talk of Psi energy, but I think it's, that's not for the Greek alphabet. I think I'd have to double check this, that they're really referencing, uh, it's psychic energy, Psi energy, oh, psychic yeah. energy, oh, not, yeah. um, okay, where you have sort that. of an energy field. Yeah. So they, they got a hold of that one. And I got uh, Omega, the 26th and last letter of the Greek alphabet. Mm -hmm. Now, where we left off, I left off, I said, put a pin in Omicron, Omicron. Oh, well, the last letter of the alphabet is Omega. So in the Greek alphabet, we have Omicron and Omega. Mega. The, okay, so Mega, not Maga, Mega. So Mega, right. uh, you have megaphones, right? right? Big. Uh, yeah, but before we had Uber, Uber big, Uber this, before Uber became a company, it was Uber this, as big and and and, and good and, and extra amounts of what it is. But then before that, we had mega. This is mega big. I had a mega good time. So all I'm just saying, we have a little O, O micron, and a big O, O mega. Right. And so just it's the interesting sort of etymologies of these words as you come through. And plus, capital Omega looks like a horse's hoof. Yes. Okay. A horseshoe. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite capital letter of them all uh, in both languages. Anyhow, in math, we tapped so many of these letters, and in calculus especially, to represent what it is we're talking about because you run out of letters using just the Roman alphabet. So I want to thank the Greeks for being early in on this, and they have really cool squiggly letters, mm -hmm. and yes. you can spell them all. And I want to thank the Greeks for showing me some of the best parties I've ever been to in my life in college. Amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the I tap a keg fraternity. You got it. All right, so Chuck, that was it. Just a little excursion on the Greek I, alphabet. I liked it. And I only became fluent when I started doing math. And I said, let me get to the bottom of all these squiggly letters that were drawn here. And so there you have it. Uh, we got to call it quits there. This has all been right. Star Talk Explainer, the Greek alphabet uh, astrophysics edition. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up. <laughs>